Hey, I'm going to show you today how to check if your battery coolant is leaking internally before you take it to the dealer. So the other day I noticed on my Gen 2 Volt that my coolant was a little low. It was uh, down here. It was about 8 or 9 ounces low. I'm actually not even about that. About 7 ounces low. And I topped it back off and then I cleared the codes because I actually threw a code for low coolant. And I've been checking it. And it hasn't dropped yet, but I'm definitely a little concerned that it could possibly be leaking inside the battery, so we're going to check that. So first I'm going to show you how to remove the cap itself. So if you look, the cap has a little notch right there in one of them. There's like a little slot in one of the, the little knurls. So what we can do, we're going to turn it until, there we go until you can see through it just like that. And that's the bottom cap. It's an inner and outer piece that ratchet. Now we're gonna take a flathead. We're gonna drop it in there. And we're just gonna give it a turn. It's hard to do one-handed. So there we go. We've linked the inner and outer cap by doing that. And it just screws off. So that's all there is there. Nothing too special. And you don't need anything to screw it back down because it ratchets that direction. So tighten it back down that way. Just just by screwing it down. So now we're gonna hop underneath the car and I'm gonna show you how to check if the battery has an internal leak. Okay, so now I got the car up in the air. I've got it uh, jacked up higher in the back than I do in the front. I'll show you why in a second. So right about here, about four or five inches back behind the seam of the door, if you go straight down to the middle of the vehicle, slide under here, right? Here is a drain plug. So this is all the battery pack right here. And this is the very front of the drain of the battery pack. In here is a little lowered section, and this is supposed to act as a drip pan. So if there is a leak, it will keep or you can pull this inspection bolt right here, which is a T30. Then if any liquid comes out, you know that there is liquid inside your battery where it should not be. If nothing comes out, then you should be okay. So I'm going to try and prop you up here and record this. This is also the first time I'm doing this, so hopefully no liquid comes out because that's gonna suck. He's crapping out. It does seem like it's got a good amount of thread sealing on it too. Um, no liquid. Okay. Nothing yet. is bone dry. That is exactly what we want to see. Come on, light. So, that's good. So that's how you check it. Inspection bolt right there. Make sure no liquid comes out. If liquid comes out, that means there is a leak inside this sealed tray here. And it is a fire hazard, supposedly. So, go to your dealer right away. But, we're good.